Hello? I never talked about advanced notices on any of the seasons cause there was no interest in changes, but this time there's actually some. As always, there is auction house suspension, chaos statue reset, which this time it's not gonna reset cause this season is only two months. Black Market, Relics and Zodiacs, Constellations, Zodiac Stones, Masteries and Runas 3 points. They all gonna be resetted, like always, however, they gave us some insight on the balance and content adjustments and skill and link rune changes, which is what they want to focus on. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna fix Explosive Slash, so activating Explosion is gonna be either easier or it's gonna have more damage. And that's a big thing. Explosive Slash with all the energy changes might be something really nice. Scorching Arrow and Earthblow is gonna have maintain position option enhanced. This one is probably gonna mean more maintain position stacks. So those maintain position stacks were increasing your damage if you were standing still. But if you kept moving, they would have they would start to decrease. I think they're just gonna give us more time to maintain those position stacks even when we're moving, so they're not gonna decrease as fast, or they're gonna you're gonna be able to generate them faster. But this is only my opinion. And yeah. And then to other skill skill and link room changes. On those, we don't know what's gonna happen for sure. There is they don't say it explicitly, is it gonna be a buff or it's gonna be a nerf? So what I did, I actually did an Excel file. And let's talk about that file. But this is only my opinion, and I only did those. That's what I think they're gonna do. But we never, but I don't know. So basically, so if it's yellow, I have no idea what they're gonna do. They can nerf it, they can buff it, they can rework it. No idea. On the red one, I definitely think it's gonna be a nerf. On the blue one, it's most likely a fix that has to do something with energies and green one is buff is buff and as you can see i'm kind of on a big copium because most of most of these are actually buffs so let's go into that so ice crystal arrow i have no idea ice crystal arrow has maintained position stacks it might have something to do with that or not i don't think if it's gonna be nerf i'm kind of close to buff or just some quality of life changes Ogrero, I think it's gonna be nerf because the single target of that skill is insane, but it absolutely lacks some kind of clear. So most likely they're gonna nerf single target, but they're gonna add some clear. That would be my guess. All of these skills are buffs because there is not not much to talk about. It cross slash doesn't have enough range. It has decent amount of damage. Rapid Shot, absolutely single target. Frost Bomb, Boar's kinda decent, but the tooltip is not big enough to contribute the damage to any main skill or as a secondary skill. Earthblow and Scorching Arrow, we know about those, they said it. At the same time, not only the maintained position can be adjusted on those, but at the same time, they can buff the tooltip. Blades of Death was dead for such a long time because Bleed was just not good enough. Either they're gonna buff the damage numbers on those or maybe they're gonna remove the Bleed part and just make it more like a strike skill. Unleashed light Lightning Shot is an interesting one. I've seen some players doing that on standard mode, most likely only for the clear, but Already when you have a lot of damage. Unleash Lightning Shot is not a good starter by any any means, and it's not even good in the end game for the casuals. You need to do quite a lot of damage, but at, at that stage, any skill is good. So probably they're gonna make it more powerful early into the game. Dark Judgment the same. Definitely gonna get buff with all of the complicated tooltip that it has. Bombardment Arrow was actually not bad, but I think it's also gonna be a buff to the tooltip damage. Explosive Flash and Frost Thorns, the fixes for the energy stuff, maybe even buff. Freeze Arrow, Icy Arrow, those two are really similar in some sense, but they definitely need a buff. I highly doubt that they're gonna be nerfed. I have not seen any players doing those from the pre-season times. Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike has a long history. It was nerfed for no reason, and it needs that buff 
for sure. Virlin Barrage is a question mark for me. I I think it's gonna be buff, but at the same time, Virlin Barrage might get some kind of rework with the reasoning the way the whirlwind is working right now. Because Whirlwind really Barrage on Bogan builds were most likely used uh, the same as Whirlwind was. Electric Ball, Throne Explosives, Poison Orbs, Arctic Shard and Shockwave definitely gonna get buffs. Throne Explosive was not bad, I did a guide on it. It, it. it was playable but it was falling off pretty quickly and after the area of effect changes on the Zodiac nodes it fall off a little bit more. Poison Orb, I don't know. For me it was never good because of the wonky interactions and there was a bug that it was not scaling correctly with the chain count or something. Arctic Shard had projectile issues. And they said they fixed it, but they actually didn't. The tooltip of Arctic Shard is actually really decent. The problem is that it's not hitting all, the, all of the projectiles on one target and you can't make it hit. There is no way to scale it. So I think that's gonna be the change to it. Shockwave Arrow, I've seen some insane builds on that, but I don't know. This might even be a nerf, but let's hope it's a buff. Fire Bomb Shot is also the same as Shockwave Arrow. It's a question mark for me. Fire Bomb Shot is not bad. Fire Bomb Shot was somewhat buffed in this current season because they make it so the fire bombs would explode when not even hitting the targets and when you have a lot of area effect it was overlapping pretty good so i don't know about that one wave and lightning arrow fixed with the energy stuff combo combo is most likely getting a buff even though combo is kind of strong but not as strong as something like crescent slash but at the same time i'm wondering why they are not adjusting quick slash because quick slash Crescent Slash and Combo falls off, at least for me, in exactly the same category. Frost Strike, Frost Strike Source, Poison of Arrows, Ruin Slash. Holy damn, I hope they're gonna nerf this stuff. I'm tired of seeing the same build season after season. This is just my visual thinking. And 101%, they're definitely not getting buffs. Come on, give us something else to play. But yeah, I think they're gonna be nerfed. I don't know how much, because they are buffing a lot of skills. Those nerfs might not be that much, but maybe buffs are gonna be bigger this time and all other skills are gonna be more viable to play. We have some link changes. Center of Gravity is gonna get reworked because right now it's bugged. For those who don't know, when you awaken your Center of Gravity to get stacks when moving, you can use it on any skill like Illusion Axe, Illusion Blood Explosion, or any other ones and get the global buff global buff because that center of gravity awakening it's not it's not only works on the skill that you attach to gravity but it's a global buff so a lot of people were running this late into the game and you could have um, one awaken it to damage while moving and another one awaken it when stationary and you could switch them between and they were working really well. You were getting decent amount of damage for only one link. Sentry stuff, Noble Sacrifice and Minion Presence. I don't know about those. I did not do any minion builds. Most likely they're gonna be buffs. I question mark those because I have not seen that many minion players. They would know better on this. Converts, they're getting reworks. It's gonna be something with energy stuff or with something else. At the same time, because we are getting rework i think depending if they're gonna make it somewhat connect with the energy stuff conversion might be a big deal for the season and non-converted skills might not be as good as they were before but that's only looking way too into the future without actually having anything to base it on but yeah Warrior Shadow and Shadow Archer, definitely getting nerfs. I don't believe they are getting any buffs. I think they're gonna get nerfs and the triggering error might be back. It might be that Shadow and, and Archer and Warrior is gonna be adjusted so 
at least I would like it so. They would be strong early game, but late into the game, triggering would be still downside. Because I think in December, strong point is the triggering. It looks cool, it feels cool, it feels fun to build. And we have a lot of skill board space, so it would make sense, but we're gonna see. And we have some awakening changes. So, I, I did it as blue, because I was thinking it's gonna be something to do with the energies, but most likely it's just gonna be a buff. Vervin slash source, I was looking at that skill, I don't know, it could be both. It could be nerf, it could be buff. This one is actually... When I think about it, it's probably a question mark. All of these, definitely buffs. This energy one is actually a buff, but it's a at the same time a rework. Yeah. I I, I could talk about this for, for a long for a longer time, but I don't want to take too much of your time. And uh, yeah, let's hope they're gonna give us the patch notes a little bit earlier this time so we could see what's going on. Not even the patch notes, but just a changes to the skills themselves. Because they were doing the patch notes and the skill changes on another notices. So let's go for that one. But yeah, this is only my opinion. I have no inside information. Have no idea. So please don't demonetize me on December. It's just the guessing. <laughs> but yeah, GG's. Have fun. And this season is... Might be... The best season that we're gonna have, but in the sense that skill and link rune balance, basically. I was hoping for that for so such a long time. I hope it's gonna be good. Yeah, just have fun and see you guys in the next one.